How do you feel about the movie after rewatching it a couple times? I have some mixed feelings on it because I don't think it's that great of a movie. I think it's kind of a lousy script. But there are some really great individual scenes, and I left this movie thinking that Spielberg is like the best director who ever lived, basically. And this is not a good movie. This is one of his worst movies. But you watch it, and you're like, God damn, does he know how to just shoot a scene? And a special effects scene, an action scene. He just knows what he's doing. The movie's not great. We didn't need the San Diego stuff. I think the movie could have ended at that hour, 40 minute mark, and it would have been probably a little bit better. The San Diego stuff is some fun schlock at times, but it is schlock. But I also think that was just like, especially when when they have the Japanese people and then they have the (laughs) David Kep cameo where he gets eaten. You get the sense it's just Spielberg and David Kep and those guys having fun right like they're not really taking it seriously well i'm also wondering if they knew that roland emmerich was making godzilla they may have uh, and they're like hey wouldn't this be fucking funny yeah if we beat godzilla to the to the punch but yeah and and it kind of reminds me of in um catch me if you can there's a scene when leonardo dicaprio watches like a james bond movie and then he goes out and buys the exact suit and the exact aston martin and he's just like driving down the streets of new york at like 80 miles an hour and they're playing the james bond theme and it's like (laughs) that didn't need to be in a movie that was just kind of in there because spielberg wanted to do like a fun little james bond thing Mm -hmm. like spielberg likes the james bond series and that's what this feels like this feels like i like king kong i like godzilla we're doing our homage to that but it doesn't need to be in the movie and it is one of the weaker aspects to it but as for like the scenes that hunt scene with the um where they're hunting down those um herbivores that scene's awesome the scene where the triceratops and stuff is trashing the camp is a lot of fun the raptors in the long grass is awesome the raptors with the gymnastics not so awesome (laughs) what are you talking about that's the best part of the movie (laughs) But yeah, there's there's like a lot of very good individual scenes, but just the whole doesn't feel like a very rewarding movie. And there's a lot of different reasons for that. But, you know, it's mostly the script and it's just not that interesting. Although that Roland character, he's he, awesome. He, yeah, he's definitely the best character in the movie. It's actually ironic that Spielberg is quoted as saying that Michael Crichton's second Jurassic Park book was lacking narratively in the middle. Yeah, I was I was thinking that too. When yeah, when when this movie lacks for 30, 45 minutes in the middle, in the storytelling sense, really. At the same time, those were some of the scenes I liked, though, when it was just them kind of wandering around, because that it felt like just this is just old school adventure. It's these people who had all the technology at their fingertips, who suddenly that technology has either been trampled by Triceratops or thrown (laughs) over a cliff by a T-Rex. And so now they've just got a few guns and tents, and they're just walking. Like, there was something kind of neat about that. Yeah, like I liked that. I liked the camp trashing scene with the Triceratops. I liked the capture hunt scene. But nothing really tied those scenes together. Like, I, I think the plot of the movie was a little weak. It almost felt like... They were making up the plot as they were filming, (laughs) you know? What plot? I don't know. I went into this movie thinking, oh, this is the worst Jurassic Park movie. Other than the new ones, I haven't... It's better than the third one. The third one is... I have to watch the third one again, but I remember liking the third one a lot when I was a kid. Also, another thing terrible about the third one, they reused the Lucky Pack... What? Why? Like in in this movie, it's silly enough. We have the lucky pack. It's oh, Julianne Moore's backpack right. that they see the holes in, and, and a few people are like, "Were you attacked?" And she's like, "No, it's just always like this. It's my lucky pack." And that's what kind of saves her life because that's what she's able to grab on when the glass breaks. And then in Jurassic Park three, Billy has his lucky pack, and but he just it smuggles dinosaur him. eggs in it. Or well, he's, he saved, he smuggles dinosaur eggs in it, but I, it's they it's his lucky pack saves him at one point, and it's like why did they reuse that detail? Because yeah, that, that's that was dumb. dumb in the that was dumb the first time we saw it. Why did we need it the second time? <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. That's <laughs> that's fucking. Wait, stupid. We we get two we get two movies in the series with lucky packs before we get two movies in the series with Dilophosauruses. It's insane. <laughs> One of the most terrifying creatures from the first film is just, Uh, (laughs) we're not doing anything with him anymore. Yeah, which is bizarre. And it's really weird to watch this movie. He does. The Dilophosaurus has a, basically like a cameo in the newest one, I think. He had a small scene, I believe. How many, how many reboot movies are there? There's been three Jurassic Worlds. Oh my God, three? I thought there's only two. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. This movie, uh, again, I, I went into it thinking it was 
total shit and I wasn't going to like it. I left it thinking it was better than I remembered because the CG and the special effects were great and not necessarily the acting or the story. No, not the, certainly not the story. I also think the the themes that it goes for don't really land the way they did in the first film and whether that's just better writing or better acting. Who knows? What's the theme of the first one? Life finds a way. If, you, if you're fucking with nature, it's going to yeah. bite you in the ass. This one, there's obviously a little bit of that nature stuff, but there's not much life finds a way. There's a little bit of just like corporate greed. Yeah, which... don't, it, it's don't be greedy. Is that the theme? <laughs> yeah, but but that's also like, it, it's it's weird because like, I think this is true of all the Jurassic movies is that they have such potential if they want it to be, to be like biting social commentary on billionaires and tech billionaires in particular. And, and it feels like none of them, they all try to do something and, and then it just never really works. But then also, I, I don't know if you'd call this a theme, but the whole, they're animals, they're not monsters, they're parents just like any other animal out there. And then it's this other paleontologist that's like, no, actually, they're not good parents. That's like, that just kind of, <laughs> like, okay, like, okay, like, we do, that didn't really, I don't want to say it doesn't go anywhere, but. But it does. Just, no, it, it, I mean, it. The, that's how they lure the T-Rex out, but. It's just like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it, it feels like lip service to say, like, we're trying to do something about, like, what dinosaurs were actually like. But really, it's just like, yeah, we don't. Well, you know, it, it's well. also it's also funny because, like, I was reading something that, oh, fuck, I'm going to mispronounce his name again. How do you say the guy's name who wrote it? Ke- Kep? Kep. He was getting letters from children in the mail when it was announced that they were making a second Jurassic Park. And the letters from some of the kids were something to the effect of, like, as long as you have a T-Rex and Velociraptor, everything else is fine. Also, add a Stegosaurus because I like Stegosaurus. It just seems like nobody really wanted to make this movie. And they just threw a bunch of random ideas together and thought, yeah, this is passable. (laughs) I, I really do feel like this movie feels like Spielberg is going through the motions, and yet I think it's a credit to his skills as a director that several scenes are elevated above that, you know? Yeah. It doesn't feel like that all the way through. It feels like that as a whole, but not necessarily scene to scene. Yeah. I agree with that, I think. 